hey guys, if you're in I one, and I'm talking about Nintendo's Indie World. Now, for those of you who don't know, there was an Indie World presentation yesterday. So if you haven't watched it, go back, watch it, then come back to the video. Now, the Indie World itself was pretty decent. Truth be told, a lot of the games I wasn't too into, but some of them look good, like Subnautica. Subnautica, even though it's already out, I believe, on other systems. They introduced also Subnautica Below Zero. So it's kind of cool. But most of the indie games shown were actually, they are very unique, I'm going to say. Like Takashi and Hiroshi, it's kind of cool. It's like basically trying to impress your little brother by what you're putting in the game. That is actually a very cool concept. That's a unique concept that we don't usually see, you know. Not only that, but that actually released yesterday. That was the thing about the showcase as well. At least three or four games actually released the day of the showcase. So that is cool. I really like that about Nintendo in general. Nintendo, I know that others have started to do that too with their game showcases, I believe. But Nintendo, I think they do it more often. Like they're like, hey, these, this is the trailer. This is the introduction. And the game's coming out today. It's just cool that we get introduced to these games. And they're actually coming out the day that they were announced. Other than that, the games that also looked cool were actually not shown in the showcase like highlighted but the ones that were in the highlight reel like haven looks pretty decent as well as red lantern they both look like they're going to be pretty decent games and that's another thing about nintendo's i noticed the highlight reel at the end which shows like new games tends to show some good stuff a lot of the times so in general this was a good showcase i encourage you guys to go and watch it see for yourself maybe there's some games you like maybe some games came out yesterday that you want like now what i also like is the free multiplayer update for untitled goose game what, though I don't own the game and don't really plan on getting it, what I do like is that we're kind of in an era now where you get a lot of free updates, man. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, sometimes that can be a bad thing, obviously, since some games, I'm not going to mention any names, have released unfinished and rely on, like, free updates to make the game what it should have been at launch. When a lot, but, but a lot of these games are getting, like, decent free updates that actually add a good amount of gameplay to the game. So it was good to see that they're getting free multiplayer update to Untitled Goose Game. It's good to kind of see sometimes these games that are just more, sometimes more simplistic. Sometimes, even though they're indie games, they are very complex. But I do find with indie games more so than AAAs, there's more creativity. Not dissing those AAA game devs, but I do feel like indie games, perhaps because either they're just starting out or perhaps because they're just a small studio, I feel like there's a lot more creativity sometimes with indie games than with the AAAs. But anyway, what do you guys think about the Indie World Showcase from Nintendo? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. And may God bless you all.